So with no further ado, I would like to welcome the gorgeous Dan Freeman to take us on a visual tour of some of her pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you all here. There's so many people here. I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous to speak to all of you. So just be gentle with me, all right? So we're gonna go on a little trip around some of my paintings. We're gonna see three, and we're gonna start with this one, which was the first piece of the whole thing, this whole exhibition, this was the first one. And really this, this exhibition came to me and this body of work came to me in late 2017 and I could feel it kind of hovering around me. I was like, oh, there's something wanting to come through me, like something's happening. 2018, I did this and I just, I don't know, I just kind of like mushed a few things together, like some, <laughs> actually though, like there was some like, hello. <laughs> there was some, um, this flower artist that I used to follow on Instagram this flower farmer, and I put their flowers next to this picture of me, and I was like, fuck, that's actually really cool. Like, there's something here. And so then I got this full hit of inspiration due to, like, the community that I'm a part of that are really, like, quite embodied and, like, sexually awake to paint them with flowers bursting out of them. This one was the second piece. Who's been to Confest? Yeah. yeah, lots of people have been to Confest, yeah. So I was at this festival called Confest, right, and everyone's running around naked and like getting in the river and... I was just like, this is the perfect opportunity to capture people. And so I'd asked people before Confest whether I could paint them with each other. And a lot of people were like, yeah, of course you can do that. I ended up, yeah, just running around and taking photos of people doing these epic photo shoots of these people like loving on each other, just being able to witness people in their eros, like whoo, amazing. And then, you know, bringing them to show them to the world, you know, to show them to all the people on Instagram and then getting banned on fucking Instagram for posting <laughs> naked people and all sorts of things. But, you know, while it was still a thing to post this on Instagram, People really loved it and it went really quite viral. Speaking of viral, we are going to our third piece. It's me, yes. <laughs> now you've all seen my pussy, it's fine. <laughs> um, so there, there's a whole story with this painting. This painting started as two separate conversations. One of them was with a friend of mine who, who's named Nabil, if you guys know Nabil who is a sacred geometry dude. He's really into like geometry, Islamic geometry, and like, yeah, just he teaches geometry. He's learned from some of the best in the world and teaches it amazing. Like he's got a retreat coming up, by the way, I'm gonna be there, it's gonna be insane. Anyway, he was telling me that the reason why the church doors are shaped like that is because of this symbol, the Vesica Pisces, right? And this symbol, these two interlocking circles are creation, their cell division, it's also a vagina, it's also a vulva. And so he was like, like going into a church is like going into a vulva, you know, going into a sacred place. And so we had this conversation over dinner and like we had this hilarious dinner and I didn't think much of it. And then I had this other conversation with my housemate Bridget who was studying yoni mapping at the time and she was studying like, she was studying women's anatomy and she was telling me that there was a part of the vulva called the vestibule which is just before the entrance and in her words it is the space she said it was the space that you in a church it's the space that you go and take your shoes off before you go inside I think I think it's actually where the priest gets dressed but you know in her words it was <laughs> it was where you take your shoes off before you go inside and so I had these two conversations, right? And the next day, I'm just sitting, minding my own business, checking my fucking emails, and this painting, fully formed, dropped into my consciousness, and I fucking screamed, like, <laughs> oh my God! And I ran and I grabbed my sketchbook. <laughs> like, it was just like, it was like a full download that was fully formed. I've never had it happen to me before. And I've never had it in the same way happen since. And I just made it like, in 
like a month. Most of these paintings took months. Some of them took years. Like, what the hell? This one was just like, I'm coming through now. I need to be on planet Earth right now. And you're, I'm coming through you. And so I made it. And then I put it on the internet and it went fucking crazy. It broke the internet. Like, it really did. It went crazy. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. This is like full collaboration <laughs> with creative consciousness. And so this has been my most actually most successful painting and I haven't sold it and I will not sell it. And I think that's, that's just beautiful. Who's had a drink from Elise yet, from Mad Law? Yeah, great. Over lockdown, right? Elise is making these amazing drinks. They're really full of intention, full of magic, like nothing I'd ever experienced before. And she was sending them to me. She's posting me these drinks in the mail, these like beautiful drinks and these beautiful like plastic package things that are like mail mailable. And I'm there in my lockdown cave, like, drinking these drinks, like, in my little, like, witch's den, like, meh, drinking anyways. <laughs> and she's like, I've made one that's based on this painting. And so she sends it to me, and I had this moment where I just, pour, you know, I poured myself some, and I'm in my lounge room on my own, like, you know, looking at this, which is above my couch at the time, drinking it, and I had this full-on transcendental experience because I was like, I am drinking this painting. <laughs> like, this is what this painting tastes like. This drink tastes like sweet pussy. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what the drink tastes like. And you guys are all going to get a cup of it and we're going to drink it together. Yes. That's what's about to happen.